from any device on any internet connection to use Kintico, but we find the best results in the Chrome browser. The first step will be to head to the UW Green Bay website. That's at www.uwgb.edu. You will want to remember that if you're on campus, you'll need the www in the URL. The next step is to navigate to the Kentico login page that's at slash admin or forward slash admin. Here we'll met with the Kentico CMS login screen. Fill in your UW Green Bay email and password and click sign in. It's important to remember to include the at uwgb.edu on your email address. If you are met with an error here, be sure to have requested access to the CMS. If you are sure that's been completed, be sure to type in your email and password correctly. If that still doesn't work, please head to the UWGB Information Technology website to request help. Here you will see the home page or dashboard of Kenico CMS. Let's do a quick overview of what we're looking at. In the top left corner, you'll see the Kenico icon that acts as your main menu. If you click this icon, a drawer will pop open with all the available applications to you. You'll see you have pages and media libraries available. The next icon is the home icon. This house will allow you to get back to this Kenico homepage if you were ever in a different CMS application like Pages. So if we go into the Pages application, we can easily and quickly get back to that home screen if we hit the house. On the far right is the Kenico CMS manual and documentation. You will have a much better time searching the UW Green Bay knowledge base at uwgb.edu slash IT if you have questions on Kenico CMS, as we have a heavily customized system. To close out of the top bar, we have the user icon, which if you click will allow you to log out of the system. In this large main section is two shortcuts to the applications your account has access to. Pages and media library. Pages is where you will edit and create the content of your website, while media library acts as sort of a cloud file storage for your files that you will want to be able to access through the internet. For example, if you have a picture on your site, or if you want to make a PDF document available from the website, then media libraries is where those should be stored. But for now, let's start with the pages application, as that's where you'll spend most of your time. 